We're getting into the late stages of the summer season now, but today Mother Nature makes sure that uh, we are aware that summer's not done just yet. It'll be much warmer today with our high temperatures pushing 90 degrees for this afternoon. Doesn't stay that way for very long. It's going to be a major cool down for the upcoming weekend with tomorrow being that transition day, meaning that's our best chance for any rain or storm. So here's how it's going to hash out for these next 72 hours today. Mostly cloudy, but quite warm outside. We're looking at upper 80s for the most part. Lewiston's still going to be into the 90s for this afternoon, but check out the stark contrast between the inland northwest at near 90 degrees versus the west side and Seattle at 70 for the high and that's because that colder air mass is already starting to move into western Washington today, but it takes almost 48 hours before it arrives for uh, eastern Washington. So it's this low pressure area spinning off the coast, but it does have a little bit of momentum, but it is going to be a slow go between where it's at now to when it will be on top of us by Friday evening. So yeah, that colder air already moving into western Washington, the Cascades we will hold it back for just a little bit here, meaning today is going to be very warm. Today will likely be our warmest day of the week. And then Saturday, by far our coldest day of this week. No rain chances out here for today. All that's going to stay on the west side. But as we look at Friday evening, this is when the storm system starts to pass through. This is when that cold front is passing through as well. So by about 5 p.m., this is where we start to get some scattered shower chances. And it actually looks pretty impressive through those early evening hours. Here's 8 p.m. on Friday, not just scattered showers, but I do think there will be some embedded thunderstorms along with this. So little bursts of some heavier rainfall, and I mean this is going to contain actually quite a bit of rain. There's a good chance that if you get underneath one of these shower or thunderstorm cells, you're getting at least a tenth or two tenths of an inch of rain in a pretty short period of time. Now that's going to pass through super quickly, but on Saturday, still some leftover rain or scattered showers, mainly for the morning hours. Watch as that thins out later on in the afternoon as that colder air really takes a firm grasp of the inland northwest. 69 for the high on Saturday. That will be our coldest day in over two months. You got to go back to June 18th to find the last time that we had a day with the highs in the 60s. And that's where we find ourselves for Saturday. Again, best chance for any scattered showers and storms will be Friday evening.